Welcome back, everyone, to another edition of Rudy's Rants, powered by Come On Now, the podcast. I am your host, Rudy Rodriguez Show. My and boy, do I have a rant for you today. But before I jump in, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for following. Thank you for viewing our content. And if you haven't subscribed, you've never seen us before, jump on board the train, man. We're growing, growing, growing. We're almost at 2,500 subs in six and a half, seven months. We continue to push out content on a daily basis, pretty much. And, um, just happy to keep on doing this and, and and getting out there. So please do jump on board. Follow us on our different social media platforms below. And uh, let's get going. Deion Sanders, Coach Prime. College football is only a couple of weeks away, and I am so freaking excited because I love college football. College football might be my favorite actual sport because of the environment, because of the, the pageantry, because of the, the tailgate, because of everything that's involved with the passion, all those things that come with college football that do not exist in the NFL, I love it. I love every bit of it. I don't love the constant transferring now. That's the one thing that's kind of hurt college football to me. But overall, college football to me is the best form of football. Short of high schools, I think high schools are great. I love high school football. But um, NFL is eh, it's corporate, a little too corporate for me. And not, not there's no passion in the NFL. In most locations. That said, Deion Sanders had a media day today where he had a run in with a couple of media members. So well, let's just listen and let's take a look at what he had to say today and we'll, we'll give our response. Eric Christensen with CBS Sports Colorado. Um, CBS. Tyler. I'm, I'm not doing nothing with CBS. Next question. Joe Rigo, my last one. Ain't got nothing to do with you. It's above that. Ain't got nothing to do with you. I got love for you. I appreciate you, respect you. Ain't got nothing to do with you. They know what they did. I'm here in Denver, not national. You are who you are. <laughs> CBS is CBS. All right. Joe, we got to do with you. I respect you. I'm, I, that's why I told you that. I'm looking you in the eye as a man. I respect you. I got love for you. But what they did was foul. So, <laughs> Deion Sanders. This is this is classic Deion narcissistic narcissist Deion Sanders. And I hate that word narcissist, but he's a massive narcissist. Oh, my God. This man is so full of himself. He thinks his shit smells like roses. That's how he treats people. He acts like this sweet, loving guy. But God forbid you don't kiss his ass at every given moment of the day. You get that type of bullshit. You're telling me I love you. I respect you. All that rigmarole garbage. And you're going to then sit here and not answer a question from the local Denver CBS station? Are you freaking kidding me? They know what they did. Who? I don't know what they did because I've Googled it and looked it up in multiple platforms, and I can't figure out what CBS did to him other than not kissing his ass and picking him to finish first in the Big 12. Like, this guy is such a – it's crazy, man. And this is from a guy who's sitting here saying they know what they did. CBS, I looked up on you, courtesy of USA Today. CBS has been good to Deion Sanders. Things he's appeared on 60 Minutes twice in the recent years, including last year at Colorado. So CBS is such a problem, but CBS had him on 60 Minutes last year. He appeared on CBS Mornings in March. That's five months ago to promote his new book. They gave him a platform to promote Mr. Narcissistic Deion Sanders, Mr. Me, Mr. It's About Me, Mr. Me, 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 me. That was five months ago. Last season, CBS Colorado hosted one of his weekly shows. Like, what? I mean, yes, they picked he picked they ranked him as the second worst coach in the Big 12. He is. I don't know who's worse, but he's probably the worst one in the in the Big 12 because he's not a good head coach. He's not a good coach. I don't know if you've been watching. He's a good marketer. He's not a good coach. Not yet. Could he become one? Sure. If he sticks around long enough to learn how to learn to do the job. He skipped all the steps that are required typically for people to become head coaches of major division one football programs. <laughs> I got love for you, but what they did was foul. So because of what, whatever they may have done, which he doesn't know clearly, 
you're not going to answer his questions? But you got love for him. So you're preventing this man from doing his job and making a living. That's what you're doing, Dion. So unless they kiss your ass at all times, you won't answer questions. This is who Deion Sanders is. This is who Deion Sanders is. But let's jump into the next clip that happened later on where he basically makes fun of, in a sense, a reporter who has written some critical pieces on Colorado. Let's take a look. I'm Keeler, the Denver Post. Happy summer, my man. You, you don't like us, man. Why do you do this to yourself? Come on. You no, don't I'm like us. Mark likes me, by the way. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Mark, Mark said he likes me. No, so that's you, one. you don't. Why do you it's do one. this, though? No, no, sorry. Two-parter if I could. No, I'm serious. Football why question. do you do this? Like, you know you don't. Like, why do you do no, this? No, no, no. It's not about that. Football question. Football no, no. question. Why do you do this? Like, it would be hard for me to really engage in someone I don't like or something I don't like. I'm just asking why. Like, why? Got to pay the bills. What did I do? Cut. You didn't do anything. It's not about that. But, this but is a what, football why? Question. I'm asking you why. Yeah, you can ask. But that, that's okay, not answer me. Because yeah. you want me to answer. You so Yeah, okay. That's fine. That's fair. Why? Why? Because I have questions. Give me your why. Why, what, what's your why? What do you want to know? Why do you, you always on attack? Like, what, what did we do? Where am I, where, where am I on attack today? Where am I on attack? Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to give you opportunity to be on attack. Well, but I, I'm asking you why. Like, what does it do for you? Like, what it, happened? It's not, it's not about me. But man. what happened? Sorry, I was on mute. I'm not even going to play the rest of it. You see what he was doing there. He's trying to, to, to control the narrative. He won't answer. He doesn't want to talk to this reporter because this reporter has written crit, crit, written critical pieces in the past on him. The guy's name is Sean Keeler. Okay? He's written critical pieces in the past on Colorado or Dion. I'm not sure which, but I've read that he's written critical pieces. Are they above criticism? They were 4-8. and eight. They stunk. Dion talked lots of shit, and they stunk. And you're getting into this thing about his personal life now. Or, well, what happened to you? Literally, that's what well, he's asking. What happened to you in your life that has made you be so angry or attacking? This is the fraud that Deion Sanders is. He tries to turn it around and make himself look like the patron saint while making the, uh, the reporter look like the bad guy. The reporter is doing his job. If you went... 11 and 1, I'm sure the reporter would have written a whole lot of wonderful pieces about your program, wonderful pieces about you. Remember, you're the same guy that was taking shits on your offensive line, taking shits on your defense, taking shits on everything as the season fell to pieces last year. You were the one that did all that stuff. So what did you expect to come from it? Positive, lovey-dovey shit? No. You're going to get what you get. You're going to get what you've given, which is an obnoxious ass attitude towards people who don't fucking kiss your ass. I'm not sitting here saying that Deion Sanders should be ripped at all times because he shouldn't be. If they win, he should be praised. If they lose, he should be freaking criticized. That's the life you chose. That's the life you chose as a football coach. Look at the fact that he's in a press conference, one, with sunglasses on, which is completely unprofessional. And a baseball cap on. You're indoors speaking to media. You can't even give them your eyes. Scrap the hat situation. Your eyes. You're wearing sunglasses in a press conference indoors. But this is who Deion Sanders is. He thinks it's cool to try to embarrass the media member. He did it twice in the same fucking press conference. He won't, he, the, I, didn't, I could have played the rest of it, it didn't matter, it was more the same why, and then and he, would, he refused to answer the guy's questions. Until this man, he wanted to have this man put his personal life in a press conference. That's not anyone's business. And your opinion of him, he's doing his job. He's asking you a football question and you won't answer it. Heck, he didn't get to ask the football question because you chopped him so quickly and started freaking you, Dion, started attacking him with personal questions. He's there to do a job. That's it.
But this is who Deion Sanders is. He's shown his face again, and I cannot wait for this season to pop off because I'm sure we're going to have tons more videos of Deion being Deion and Coach Prime trying to be the man. They're going four and eight again, six and six at best. And he won't have shit to say at the end of the season. But yeah, we weren't very good, and I wasn't a very good coach. But let me let me know your what your thoughts are on that, how he treats the media and how he acted today in this press conference. Leave him leave a comment. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell. Come on now.